All right, um, back again with another cargo van video. And um, today we're going to talk about how I made $500 in one day off one trip. And um, this is actually was non-touch. Well, I say it was non-touch freight when I was um, picking up. But dropping off, I did have to down stack it. But um, let's get right into it. I'm going to tell you how to get to this money. But, um, so yeah, I had a, I had an order that I set up through Shipley and, um, basically it was a pickup of some tile. So like the customer ordered tile and, um, it was like a pallet of tile and basically I had to go pick it up from, I think it was actually ordered from some company online and they shipped it to like a, a local, um, like a FedEx, maybe no, FedEx or USPS. Maybe it's USPS. I want to say, but uh, yeah, USPS. But um, it w it was shipped there, and then it had to get picked up from USPS and be taken to the customer's house. So um, she basically had to pay for the delivery from USPS to her house because she didn't have a um, you know a truck or anything to come get it. So uh, and this customer actually was in Asheville. And uh, I'm located like, like near Charlotte area. So like, Asheville was like right around like two hours from me. So I say about like, about like a hundred and some, like 110, 120 miles, something like that. Probably about like, somewhere in there, about 110, 120 miles from me. But um, like I said, 110 miles there, and then coming back is another 110 miles. So like in all, it's about 200 and. 20 miles for the full trip but um that's right about like right at like 40 40 dollars a gas for me so um but yeah basically i quoted her for 500 dollars for the um pickup and um she paid she paid that so what happened was i just went down there and um i got to the usps and they basically loaded it up with the forklift so um they just put it on my truck and then um from that point i just drove to the customer's house so the customer was only like no more than like 15 20 minutes from the usps so i drove there and then um the only thing was that like when i got there and this this tile is heavy like like each one of these pieces of tile is at least like at least 35 40 pounds each and it's like a whole full like like overall it was like about like two thousand pounds overall but like the tile was stacked up it was a pretty decent sized pallet so when i got there um obviously it's a customer's house so like she didn't have a, um she didn't have a forklift or anything that we could take it off with obviously so i had to down stack the whole pallet and uh it was kind of crazy because like i was expecting that to take it all off myself but um, she actually was willing to help, which that kind of helped out a little bit, kind of speeded the process up a little bit more. So she was willing to help um, me downstack it. So that that took probably like, I'd say like no more than like 35, 45 minutes, something like that to downstack that whole pallet. And then once we downstack the pallet, we just put it all like, you know, near her um, door or whatever. But that was probably like the most physical part of it, just down stacking all of it, because it took a little bit of time to do that, because those pieces weighed so much. But um, we got it done with, we got it over. And um, after I finished doing that, she basically gave me a tip on top of the 500 bucks that she was paying me. So she ended up giving me like a $50 tip. So like I came out at $550 and um deducting a gas right at five hundred and ten dollars you could say profit and um overall it took no more than like five to six hours of my time because two hours there two hours home like 45 minutes down stacking it in like 15 minutes to the customer's house so like yeah that's like right at five hours of my time that it took to uh, get it done and that was just a quick $510 made profit um, 
this is kind of like an example of like when you book your um like basically when you when you book these loads through shipley because this was through shipley like i went on there and i happened to just place a quote on there for this for this job and um she took it and then it just that's kind of how i got it so this is an example of one of those shipley jobs to where it's like you get on there and um and place your quote at a good time like as soon as they post a post a listing get on there and put your quote on there like you kind of want to be like one of the first three people i'd say to put your quote in because like if you wait any longer than that it'll be like a bunch of people that's already put quotes in there and it kind of like it's kind of hard to stand out when it's just more than three people already on there and another thing is that like some of these people like they're kind of new to the to the site so like they'll just undercut you like to the point to where it's like if you're um if you put in there like a, a reasonable price for a, the delivery they'll just they'll they'll just go as low as possible they'll, they'll go to the point to where it's like it won't even be worth doing the job they'll just go super low just to to get a job accept it so they can make any type of money so that's why it's like you got to get in there pretty early and put a um a reasonable price and a lot of times they'll go ahead and accept it and it's best to do that as soon as possible to um to kind of beat the other people that come in there and just lowball and just put you know anything just to get it accepted and a lot of times that happens to where like if they do accept one of the people that just put it in there as a you know real low price or whatever like most likely that person will end up doing a horrible job like they'll probably just end up like you know coming late or getting there and they won't have all the the um tools necessary to do the job or they'll just come there and have horrible customer service you know like they just they don't really satisfy the customer and a lot of times those those ones will get bad reviews and you know so it's kind of like messes it up because like some people you know if that's their first time using shipley like you know actually placing a listing on there and they get one of those people that just do a horrible job it kind of just puts a, a bad taste in their mouth for the the site so it's like at that point they don't want to actually list anything else on there and um that just affects all the all the drivers because it's like at that point well it's slowing down the work for people because you know these the new um you know new listings or new people that are getting involved new customers they're not having a good first experience because they happen to get a bad driver and it just kind of like you know kind of turns them away from using that app or using that website so um yeah that's just a tip for y'all like if y'all do get on there and use uh shipley like you know just try to like try your best to satisfy the customer and you know do a good job because it definitely affects everybody on there and um you know you, you kind of want to make sure that you keep the customer coming back that's how we all get paid and that's how you know keep the money coming but um but yeah so i just want to tell you about that though it's a quick quick five hundred dollar day in, in in five hours so like basically if you want to you know add it up that's like a hundred dollars an hour for five hours of work so after that point you know like i could basically just go home so um but yeah y'all let me know about um any questions or comments y'all got make sure y'all like and subscribe to this video for more content and um i will be having um a lot more videos getting released because um i'm just trying to get more creative with the content and um try to keep on feeding you guys as much um you know information as i can on this business and uh, just my journey with it so um just be looking out for the new videos the new drops and uh if y'all got any questions or anything hit me up on instagram at cargo van leo or just comment on the video and i'll um reply back to your comment but um yeah y'all y'all just let me know like what y'all think about you know how your how your journey's going with the cargo van and uh we can all grow together but um i'll see y'all on the next one and um i'll take it easy